Hi everyone, Darko here and today I will present you Tizen 3.0, new version of Samsung's smart TV platform introduced on 2017 line of TVs. I will be demoing this on Samsung's 40MU6402, that's mainstream UHD TV with HDR support, but 99% of features that I will show are applicable also to other models, including QLED. So the core of Tizen Smart TV platform is home menu, which appears in bottom part of the screen. It is in a way similar to LG's WebOS, and it's meant not to cover complete screen while, for example, you're searching for certain app or you just want to change picture preset from standard to movie, or adjust backlight really quickly. As you can see, platform offers not only apps in this bar, but also different inputs. So for example, on HDMI 1, I have this PlayStation 3 connected. So what I can easily do, I can move this icon to wherever position I want. There are no restrictions in terms of first place or, or the last, you can put it wherever you wish. And if some app you don't like, for example, you can easily remove it from the list. Once the app is removed from the list, it is not uninstalled. You can bring it back, but also add new apps if you go to the apps icon. So this is the apps window where you can see all apps that are available. They are separated in different categories like editor's choice, most popular, and also you can find here downloaded apps. So if you want to bring the app back to home menu, all you have to do is press OK and hold it for a little bit. And then you have this additional menu with add to home, you can bring it back and automatically position where you want. There is around 3.2 gigabytes of free space to install different apps, so this is more than enough. For example, let me choose some new app like this one. So you see size, you see which version and language it is, and by pressing install it will be installed. Meanwhile, you can open different apps, so this is this multitasking part of Smart TV platforms, even though this is not a real multitasking, it still gives you flexibility to browse around and check different content. Now let me go back to YouTube and here you will see another feature of Tizen 3.0. So right now I'm in YouTube app and what I will do, I will turn off the TV. And now I will turn it on and what you see, we are back in YouTube app. So TV will come back to the latest app you used or different input. And if you don't want this, you can also disable it within settings menus, which I will show you a little bit later. So I will open some random video. Bear in mind that I have five megabit download internet connections, so Probably on faster internet speeds, uh, everything will be a little faster. But as you can see, you have all controls as typical YouTube apps on smart TVs. And it works really well. You can again bring this home menu and browse around. And there is no delay or any kind of slowdown. And during these three weeks, of what I've been using this TV, I haven't seen any issue in terms of stability or uh, decrease of speed. So in that regards, Tizen 3.0 is really a great smart TV platform. Now let me select back this PlayStation input, which you can do also by going to source section. For example, if you want to quickly change picture preset, you can do it by pressing home button on the remote and going to settings and go up to quick settings. And here 
as you can see, you can quickly change the different picture preset. Now if you want to go one step further and you just want, for example, in movie preset increase backlight, you go up and you go to picture setup. And here you are. So this is really a neat trick which I really like. And you have different controls here as well, but only up to tint. So there are no advanced options available in this menu. If you want to learn more about picture quality and different picture settings, you can check my other video, which will be shared in the link below. And also, if you want to learn how to get best performance in game content, you can also check another video which I made, also linked below in the description. Here in sources you have TV and also different inputs, including media servers and USB devices. And this works really well, so we can quickly browse from one section to the other. You can again see great speed of Tizen Smart TV platform and how quickly it opens uh, different video content. Uh, besides standard dynamic range, there is also support for HDR, so if I open, for example, this HDR content, you will see again in settings this icon with HDR. So it means that TV is in HDR mode, and again you can adjust backlight, brightness, contrast and other options right on this quick screen. In terms of sound, there are different presets and you can again quickly adjust equalizer setup through this menu here. You can also change sound output. It can be audio out optical or you can also connect Bluetooth devices like this Cambridge Audio TV5 sound base which I have beneath the TV. So you can quickly connect and use external audio system to improve sound quality. Now I will go to general and show you what I said before that you can decide when TV turns on. Do you want to see Smart Hub and do, if you want to see last app that was opened before. So you can simply toggle it right in this menu. As you can see, some apps have recommended content in the row above. So you can directly jump to certain content without opening the app and then selecting the content, which is also really great. And for some apps, it is not available, but for some it's right here. Besides using remote control, you can also install SmartView app from Samsung to control Tizen 3.0 TVs. Um, it is made in similar fashion as this home menu you see on the screen, so you can pick different app, double tap to open it. You can view photos which are stored on your smartphone or tablet on the big screen of the TV. Same goes for music. And there are also different layouts available, for example, gamepad, or you can use a touch screen of your smartphone to more easily browse through internet using built-in browser in the TV itself. In short, this was a quick tour around Tizen 3.0 on Samsung 2017 TVs. From my experience, uh, it is really quick, stable and easy to use platform, which I like very much, not only to open different apps, but also when I'm doing calibration, it allows me to quickly get to the menu I want and do certain adjustments. It doesn't offer as many apps as Android TVs, however, those that are available work really good and I think it will satisfy 
a vast majority of users. Thank you very much for watching this video, hope it was helpful. If you want me to continue doing such videos in the future, please let me know in the comment section. And for any additional questions or comments, just leave them in area below. Thank you very much guys and see you soon. Bye!